but you guys today we're taking a look at probably the best affordable mini NAS you can buy in 2025. This is the Zimmer Board 2 and we're going to be setting this network attached storage up as a network attached storage in our home. So this is what you're going to get for the Zimmer Board 2. You've got your accessories and you've got the actual Zimmer Board itself. They do different kits here. This one was sent out for review. But all opinions are my own and no one is reviewing this video before it's released and no money has changed hands. So you're going to get your power adapter with different attachments. I'm in the UK, so I'm going to be using the UK version here. But they do have different attachments for different plugs for different countries and they do come in the kit. We've got a barrel jack connector on the end here to power the actual uh, Zimmer board too. And again, we're going to have some cables here. These are SATA cables. These are to join the two drives together and we're going to be using this caddy up the top there I'll show you that in a second and here is the Zimmer board too now of course compatible OS is on this are the Casso OS Linux Windows open uh, WRT uh, PFSense Android and Libra Elect as well we got so we've got two USB 3.1 ports one times PCI Express 3.0 port a mini display port which is 4k at 60 hertz version 1.4 and we also have two gigabit ethernet LAN ports on here as well, which is nice. And we got the power input there. And on this side, we do have uh, two times SATA 3.0, six GBS also ports with power as well. So this is fully made of aluminium or aluminum if you live in the States. And there we have our PCI Express 3.0, which you can plug in basically all of your cards that you need, riser cards in there, graphics cards, whatever you need to plug into that port you can do. And we've got our little strap here in case you want to utilize that when you're using the uh, hard drive caddy here. I'll show you how to set this up. It's very simple and easy to do. Let's get cracking with the uh, setup phase. Okay, so let's get this set up. So we've got our hard drive uh, cage here. I'm going to put in two four terabyte drives just for this video. But again, this you can put in uh, two and a half inch drives in here as well. And you can put in SSD drives or you can put in mechanical drives like I'm doing here. You've got a bracket here. This is in case you want to put in a riser card and mount it on the side so you don't have to basically uh, have it laying flat down. By having this bracket on, this is just going to allow me to put in a card at a later stage, whether I want to use a SSD NVMe type uh, riser card in here or graphics card or whatever it is you want to put on the side, you can do. Now, I'm just going to screw these in a little bit tighter here so they don't move around. Now, you can mount the uh, Zimmer Ball 2 on top if you want to. I'm going to leave it loose on top because I'll be uh, accessing it all the time. So I don't really particularly want it mounted. And for this video, I'm just going to leave it rested on top. But there is four mounting holes there. You'd have to do that before you actually put the drives in. But you can see there's the drives right here. And now I can add in my cables. Let me just go ahead and do that right here. This is a little cable that will go round underneath uh, to allow you to put a card on the side. Now, this card could be just about anything you want to use that riser card for. Now, there's two variants for this particular Zimmer Ball 2. There's the 832 and also the 1644. One of them has 16 gigabytes of uh, LPDDR5 RAM at 4800 megahertz, and one has 8 gigabytes. Now, it does come with the Intel processor N150. That's four cores and also have 6 megabytes of cache up to 3.6 uh, gigahertz processing uh, speed there. So we've got plenty of power for what we need it's a fanless design so we just need to plug in this ribbon cable here if you're going to be using this i'll do it for this video just to show you but i'm not going to be using it so i'm just going to wrap this round because this is how you would have it set and you would obviously screw the screws that come in the kit onto this little bracket here and when the card has a little bracket on you can mount it to the other screw hole up the top and I'll show you a quick image to show you what it looks like it'll look something like this and this can be any type of riser card that you might want to use and have it mounted to the side now I just need to plug in these extension cables here so I can uh, tie both of these drives together and we're going to power them in on the other side as well with the cable into the uh, Zimmer board too that's simple just plug them in and of course if this was mounted it would be a bit more 
difficult. That's why I didn't mount it. And once we power this up with the power cable, we should be pretty much good to go. So this is what it's going to look like without the card on the side. We do have our Ethernet cable in here. We do have that uh, HDMI cable plugged in, the power cable plugged in. We've got all the drives plugged in here. Again, like I said, you can use whatever drives you like on yours, but this I'm using the three and a half inch mechanical uh, drives because we're going to turn this into a mini network attached storage. So the temperatures, if you're wondering what this is like, I've got a thermal camera right here and we can take a look at the temperatures. So I'm just letting it populate here and you can see maximum is around about 40 degrees Celsius, which isn't too bad. And of course, that is the whole lot together, two drives and the uh, Zimmer board uh, two. So we're going to head over to the computer now and set this up. So I've put the IP address in that it's told me to put in. We can choose our language right here. There's many to choose from. And we can now click on the next button once you agree to their terms conditions. So let's just go here. You need to set up a local account for yourself. You can use whatever local account you want to use. Would help if I had that in lowercase. Let's go back. There we go. Just going to give it a username of Brightech and we're going to be putting a password in here. It needs to be a pretty strong password. Make sure you use uppercase, lowercase and also special characters if you can uh, to make the password nice and strong. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Once we've got that done, we can click next, move on to the next stage of the setup process. And this will give us to this page right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the dashboard button. And now we can see the uh, Zimmer OS operating system. This is a new updated version. So let's go ahead and finish this off. We've got a, a few pages to go through here. So let's go ahead and click next to see what the next page is right here. And this is for remote access. You can read all this information at your own leisure. You've got peer drop there as well. So we're just going to, if you want to download the uh, Zimmer client, you can do. I'm just going to opt out of this for now. And there is our uh, desktop uh, dashboard here, what we've got. And we can see our storage is here. And if you want to set up but RAID, you can do on this system. And I'll show you some of the applications. There's loads of applications you can use on this and this is a great affordable home little NAS server for yourself if you just want to share some files across your network maybe create a Plex server whatever it may be as you want to do you can do so from here we need to create a storage pool and we need to create our raid so when we click on create storage you're going to see a couple of options available to you here so we can set up a raid system or we can use jbod or we can use uh, what other options are available to us if we are setting up more drives. We've just got two drives on here. So let's go ahead and click on this one here. And we've got an option, option to set up RAID 1, which is obviously the safe option uh, because that will create a redundancy. If you're not interested in having a RAID set up, you can use uh, JBOD and you will just get all of the storage, 100% of your storage. It's just like having, uh, you know, eight terabytes of storage on uh, your local network. Uh, you would have no RAID set up there. So if something failed, you'd lose everything. So here we're going to go ahead and set this up in a two disk format. We're going to choose RAID 1. And that means we're going to be having the safe storage. It's going to use some of that for redundancy in case one of the drives fails. We should be safe. And we're going to now create this uh, RAID 1 option right here. And that's pretty much it. Once that's done, you've now got it set up. It tells you what you've just set up here. We can now go to files and now we can get in the option to mount the Zimmer client here. I'm just going to leave this for now, um, just in case you want to connect on your PC. And basically you can see right here, we've got some options in documents, downloads, gallery, media, and backup. You can create your own folders on here as well. You can create your own users. You can see them. The uh, media section, you've got options to upload straight to these folders that are already being created right here. But like I said, you can have home automation, you can have uh, Plex Media. So there's tons of stuff you can do on these particular network attached storage. You can use it for just data storage if you want to. Maybe you've got a small YouTube channel and you want to back up all your videos, you can do. This is the onboard storage right here. Uh, both models have different storage capacities. One of them has 32 gigabytes of EMMC storage, and the other one has uh, 64 gigabytes 
of internal storage. And that's what you're looking at right here, the internal storage of the Zimmer OS there. So this is the actual dashboard, the overall dashboard. Once you set it all up, you can go into the applications right here. And if you want to set up whatever applications you want, you just click on them and install them and set them up and configure them the way you like. There is tons of stuff on here to mess around with and get familiar with it, whether you want to set this up as a backup or home automation, or whether you want to set up a file drop or whatever it is, you can set it up. There's tons and tons of applications uh, on this particular device. It's a great starting point for a lot of people that don't want to spend a lot of money. Maybe you've got some drives laying around and you just want to buy the unit, you can do and get this set up. You don't even have to use their actual uh, caddy if you don't want to. There's people that have made custom caddies, 3D printed them. Whatever you want to do, the choice is yours. So they've got different kits available. This is the Zimmer Ball 2 and you can see it's $199 and that is for the 832. And this is the Zimmer Ball 2 1664 and that is $279. That will obviously have the more internal storage and uh, more memory, like 16 gigabytes of memory. The 832 uh, will only have 8 gigabytes of memory and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So choose which one suits your budget and what your needs are. This picture is showing two SSDs included in this kit, uh, but my one didn't have any of those. So just make sure you check the kits and what you're going to get for your money. Uh, that way you'll know exactly what you're getting in the kit. So anyway, that is pretty much it. That is the Zimmer Board 2. They do have all the accessories on their website, so I'll leave a link for that in the video description so you can check out that at your own leisure. If you're interested in the Zimmer Cube, Personal Cloud, or you've got other kits they've got here, some more affordable stuff, they do have kits on their site like this one here. Stick a couple of drives in there and you've got yourself a nice little home network attached storage. There is the hard drive rack or caddy, whatever you want to call it. And there we have some uh, riser card, dual NVMe M.2 SSD adapter card. And we've got also a fan there, which they sent. So there is some bits and pieces you can add together. Uh, all these will be extra added costs depending on what package you choose. Anyway, but that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.